how do you go from Randy not being a fan of you, not liking you, to being buddies, being bros with him? So with Randy, he for Rain for Randy to trust you, especially somebody in my position, you have to work with him. You know, he has to see what you're capable of in the ring, especially with him. I mean, a lot of people they look good, but they'll hurt you or this and the other thing. And me and Randy wrestled before. We, I actually just dropped the U.S. title, got beat up by Bobby. Then the following week, they had me tag with Randy or have a match with Randy. And I think Randy was supposed to wrestle Braun Strowman at the time, but they switched up the cards. So I wrestled Randy, and they go, hey, we're going to have a feud with you and Randy going into backlash. You're going to wrestle Randy, beat him. Then Randy's going to suggest you guys tag. And we'll have promos doing this. Then you guys tag. You think you're cool. And then he RKO's you. We set up the feud, go into backlash, talk some trash. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So now we get to do RK, bro, which I pitched and everybody laughed at me because I want to, you know, I'm always pitching. Not pitching for somebody. Like, I always say goofy stuff to the writers to see if it happens. Sometimes it does. Like yeah. RK, bro. <laughs> so that, we're tagging. We're starting this little feud. Cool. And then uh, we do the singles match. And after the singles match, Randy was over the moon with me and i was i was over the moon with randy it was great and he allowed me to do a lot of stuff and i also made sure because i knew how he was feeling even then i made sure to make sure he didn't feel an ounce of pain in my match you know not saying i didn't hit him i hit him where i knew it wouldn't kill him but I, you know i knew how to work after that randy was like i want to work with this guy all the time we did the tag match next week and like right before the match they go hey don't RKO riddle that people are like kind of liking this RK bro thing. And then we're just from there. But it was the same thing kind of with like even Pete and me. When me and Pete yeah. teamed up, we were supposed to like team once, lose second round or first round of the Dusty Cup, feud with each other, match. We teamed once, one people are really high on the browser weights. Then before you know it, we're winning the Dusty Cup. I have a golf cart that says browser weights on it and everything else. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of that formula, you know? And with Randy, it was that, but like times a hundred, you know, because we were on the main roster and Randy's Randy. And we had a really, we had a better dynamic in the sense like, he's like I said, he's older, wiser. He's the viper. He's cutthroat. He's a killer. And technically, if you know my background, UFC fighter, this, I'm a killer too. But my character in WWE, I'm like, hey, Randy, you know, like, how are you, man? Like, are we going to go ride scooters later? I got some Speedos, you know, like, that, that's the character because I'm supposed to be, you know, the goofball. Randy's so been there for 20 plus years. So what do you, what's the biggest thing you pick up from him? I think the biggest thing not only did I pick up from, well, Randy, Randy's my boy. So there's tons of things I picked up from him and he's helped me out a lot with. But the biggest thing when it comes to professional wrestling is just timing. Just taking your time. Even like wrestling on the indies again, I feel like people feel like they need to rush and this and that. And it's like, and it seems crazy. The longer you wait at certain times, it gives the audience an opportunity to do what they're supposed to do. Mm. You know, if you're working the whole time, they're just watching the whole time. You need moments, you know? And Randy is the master at moments. His walkout alone is a moment. His pose it's a moment, you know? That's that's what you learn from Randy. In the moments, you know? 